hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Frutech. yesterday we uploaded video for installation of new lineage OS 21 for oneplus 6 and 60. we all know that lineage OS is legendary custom rom known for its performance and battery life with less but essential features but the main question arises how is this build is it worth to install this rom on your device so today in this video we will discuss the complete details of the new lineage OS 21 in which we will discuss some ROM source base, what's working in the ROM, which essential features are available in this AOSP lineage OS, how is the performance and finally we will discuss its bugs and issues. So watch this video till the end now without further delay, let's get started. On the new adventure. So our device booted to the new Lineage OS 21. This ROM comes with this signature Trebachet launcher. Let's jump to the about phone details. Here you can check this ROM is based on the Android 14 with the Google's new easter egg for new Android version. This is the 20th March nightly build of Lineage OS for OnePlus 6 and 60. Lineage OS comes with their own signature easter egg which looks awesome. But now they also added this new octopus game within the easter egg. Security patch of this build is February 2024. Kanna version is latest 4.9.337. Build date of ROM is 20th March 2024. So this is source base of the ROM which is the latest one which helps for the better performance and the battery life of the device. Now let's check out which essential features are working in the ROM. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspots are working without any issues. Bluetooth is working with the all HD codecs, NFC, GPS location, automatic brightness, OnePlus alert slider, these essential features are working without any issues. All the VLT, incoming and outgoing calls are working with the Wi-Fi calling. Its setting is available under the network option. Some other essential sensors and the features like light sensor, ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, flashlight, multi-touch and display are working fine. All the important sensors like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are tested and they are working fine. Fingerprint is working fine for the OnePlus 6 but I don't know under display fingerprint of OnePlus 60 is working or not because I didn't have OnePlus 60 device. ROM data storage is encrypted so no worry about stealing of your data. Now comes the most important question which camera is available in this ROM and is it working fully or not. So ROM comes with the normal lineage OS aperture camera application. It has working selfie and the main camera shots with the video recording. But other advanced features are not available. Sadly we didn't get the OnePlus camera in the ROM. That's why I installed the third party Shamim G cam in this ROM but it has lots of issues and not working fully. We will discuss its bugs under the bug section of the video. This Gcam build has working 4K CSTFS video recording. Here is a sample. It also has the working time lapse video recording. Video stabilization is available and working. It has different video stabilization modes. Other features like panorama mode and the photo sphere modes are working. So this is all about the essential working things. Now let's discuss some features available in the ROM. As Lineage OS didn't suffer too much features but even if it is a OSP ROM it has some more features like it has working OT updater and will get nightly builds notification via this updater and it's working good. Under the system setting we get the status bar customization which offers the network traffic indicator, clock setting, battery indicators. Under the gestures setting, we get the AOD touch gestures to access the different applications or the shortcuts without unlocking your device. We get the system navigation gesture customization setting too, along with the one-handed mode. Under the buttons option, ROM offers back gesture long swipe shortcuts to access different applications or the shortcuts, which is pretty useful feature. Power menu and the power button end call offers some good usability of power button. Show volume panel on the left side helps to handle the device for volume panel with one hand only. Under display setting and the low screen we get the ambient display with the pocket mode. AOD mode is working well. Live display setting offers lots of screen display setting as per user's requirement. 
full screen app setting is available double tap to wake and sleep is working perfectly under the launcher home setting who gets the app drawer theme icon toggle who also gets protected and hidden app settings so we can hide any applications from the app drawer or we can lock them with the fingerprint rom comes with the audio tuner called as the audio fx and the new gallery application instead of one plus gallery application rom comes with some linage or signature wallpapers under the wallpapers and the style setting So this is all about the features available in the ROM. So if you ask me about the performance of the ROM, it's a top notch. As this is the OSP ROM, it didn't come with any kind of bloatware in the system. So performance seems very good, but after testing lots of ROMs, I can't visibly seen any difference in all the custom ROM as compared to the lineage OS. But this ROM has very good RAM management, scrolling and touch response is very good. There is no any visible jitters or the lags I found anywhere in the ROM. Now comes the most important part of the video that is what are the issues and the bugs present in the ROM. The main issue is the safety net. CTS profile check will fail so we can't able to use different security application in the ROM. But I have created the video tutorial how to bypass this issue. Its link is available under the video description. Device Play Protect is also not certified, so some application will be not able to install in this ROM. This can also be solved using the root access method. Its video tutorial link is given under the video description. Next, some major issues are regarding the camera. Though I installed the Shamim's Gcam build, it doesn't have working night mode, portrait pictures, and the normal photo capture didn't working. It may not work at all, or sometimes it causes glitches. In the video shooting, slow motion also not working, except that all the things are working, but for photo shooting, you can use Lineage with Aperture camera application. Under the wallpaper and style setting, Android 14 AI generated wallpapers features and the AI emojis wallpaper are not available. Even we didn't get the lost screen clock feature of Android 14 in the ROM. Next, I can't able to run the Geekbench application. It's causing force close of application. That's why I didn't show you the performance scores under the performance timeline of this video. Call didn't have the call recording feature, even though we have call recording option under the phone application setting, but it's not working. We also didn't get the unlimited photo backup feature in the Google Photo application. This is all about the new Lineage OS 21. Lineage OS is a legendary ROM in terms of the performance and the battery life as compared to other ROMs. But developers of this project didn't integrate any third-party fixes or the applications like Oxygen OS camera. Which may be deal breaking issue for some users except camera, other things can be fixable using the root access for this ROM. So if you still want to use this, you can definitely try the quality of this legendary ROM who's best user by the almost all the custom ROMs. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for OnePlus 6 and 60 to keep alive your device till the end. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.